Hey, how you doing guys? Um, for this second video of the week, um, I'm going to be talking about the news that Apple ProRes RAW has now come to Windows, which is great news. Um, now it only supports 64-bit uh, Windows 10, so 32-bit or um, operating system, it's not going to work. Of course, Apple's switched from all 32 to 64-bit applications and operating systems. Um, so this is going to uh, provide support on Windows for playback of ProRes RAW and ProRes RAW HQ or high quality. Now these are mostly for Adobe applications. For instance, um, Premiere Pro, After Effects, um, Media Encoder, and Premiere Rush, which I believe are on tablets. Now I'm not sure the status of ProRes RAW on other applications uh, on Windows, for instance, DaVinci Resolve, because I know um, DaVinci Resolve from uh, Blackmagic Design has its own Blackmagic RAW. So I don't think we're going to see cross compatibility with this. For instance, we're not going to see Apple ProRes RAW on uh, DaVinci Resolve and vice versa. I don't think we're going to see Blackmagic RAW supported on, uh, for instance, um, Final Cut Pro 10. So or on Mac computers. I don't know. We'll see. Um, sometimes anything that competes with each other, they tend not to maybe not support, uh, but we'll see. So uh, I think this is great or good news um, for people on Windows. I know they've been, Apple's been uh, depreciating, getting rid of codecs they consider old or obsolete, and they kind of run with their own, which I don't always agree with. And I think at one point they did remove um, Apple Pro Codex from Windows, I believe, but it looks like at least they're going to be supporting uh, ProRes RAW and at least uh, Adobe applications. So I kind of wanted to add that as uh, important news uh, for you guys and content creators such as myself or if you work in the wedding or want any kind of filming on uh, Adobe uh, uh, applications using uh, ProRes RAW. Anyway. Uh, I'll see you guys later and thanks for watching as always.